You know, the Committee on Presidential Debates is basically the scam whose job it is, uh, is to shut down debate and to make sure that debate <clears throat> doesn't happen and that there's just a polite and irrelevant conversation that takes place between two corporate candidates who pretty much agree with each other and keep telling each other, you know, oh, I agree with that, or, you know, I've got basically the same position. No, I've built more pipeline than you, and <laughs> things like that. Cut um, social security. Yeah. <laughs> cut social security, exactly, and Medicare while we're at it, and, you know, we've got to cut those entitlements. Yeah, I mean, it's a scam. How many people watched the, Ugh. you know, establishment debate? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, and Just how many felt like on you Twitter. needed to... Go take a shower after <laughs> Got totally slimed by watching. We can all be political therapists for each other and for our friends and remind our friends that if they are in an abusive political relationship, <laughs> they can get up and walk away. So, you know, that's one of the ways that it feels like this is therapeutic to be doing Green, green Party Action, activism, fighting, running, whatever part of it is extremely therapeutic. It is life and community affirming uh, and building. The Commission on Presidential Debates, you know, exists in order to stifle that conversation because if that conversation is had, we win. You know, they are in big trouble if, uh, you know, when it comes to that debate. So we're going to keep fighting in Massachusetts. We fought that fight and we actually won. They had to let us into the debate. And it also enabled us to raise $100,000 because that's, that's what they were using to keep us locked out of the debate. We won that fight in Massachusetts. It's not over at the national level. Everyday people, just about everyone, who in their right mind now says they don't think that alternative voices uh, should be heard? Everybody says that. So. Uh, we need to start in plenty of time before the next presidential election. But obviously, there's a whole lot of stuff we got to work out. Yeah. Jill, if I could, our national party passed a platform plank at our convention where we were fortunate to nominate Jill. And it says, create a new publicly funded People's Commission on Presidential Debates and open its presidential debates to all candidates who appear on at least as many ballots as would represent a majority of the Electoral College and who raise enough funds to otherwise qualify for general election public financing. Any candidate who refuses to participate in such debates would lose general election public financing for their candidacies. Amend federal law to remove the nonprofit tax exemption status that allows corporations to fund the existing Commission on Presidential Debates yeah. and other yeah. such exclusive privately controlled entities. All right. Thank you, Green Party. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to the National Green Party. Other questions as I'm...